those who are watching this video, you all are talented and amazing in your skills. With this, I would like to start my session today. Hey everyone, this is Rosalie and you're watching my channel, Easy to Implement in Life, Occupational Communication and Presentation Skills. Today's video is on virtual interview or you can call it as video interview or digital interview, anything that you can call, virtual, video or digital interview. Without wasting any time, I'm going straight into the topic that what you should do during virtual interview. The first thing is testing your technology that you are going to use. The technology means the moment you accept the virtual interview, test your technology. Say for example, your internet connectivity, your camera or your webcam, check your microphone and whether that is in all working condition. Yes, it is important. Even though you are using internet throughout the day or throughout the week or throughout the month, check your internet connectivity whether it is working fine or not. If your picture is grainy, sometimes when you start the TV, you find those grains dot 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 and you are experiencing some echo, then you may need to purchase a webcam with built-in microphone. But if you are testing all these things half an hour before your interview, it is going to be difficult for you to purchase a webcam with microphone and then what will happen? you will become nervous and once you become nervous what you are prepared for the interview may go in, in vain. The second thing is find a place with minimum distraction. Yes, find a place with minimum distraction at home. So if you are preparing for it for your job from the beginning itself find a place where you can sit test that place also. Once you finish testing your technology, next is to find where you want to sit and give the interview. Find a place in a room with best lighting. It can be near your window also. Try to choose a blank wall. At present I don't have a blank wall. I have taken curtain. It's a blank plain curtain. So if you have a plain curtain, that also will suffice. And if, if you have a blank wall and if you have to remove some uh, photos or wall hanging, my advice is to please remove and have a good background, plain wall. If you are sitting in a sofa of your living room, clean up and organize the surroundings. At present, I'm sitting in my in, in my sofa and also in living room. If your surrounding is not proper, then you will find it difficult to convince the employer that you are organized. If the chappas are lying here and there, if you have your laundry here and there, it's going to be difficult for you to convince them. Now, once all these things are set up, comes the distraction. Keep your, what is distraction? Your mobile phone. This is the first distraction. Keep it in silent mode. And close all the windows for the, uh, so that you don't get neighborhood traffic or neighborhood noise. Because some people will be honking when they are going to the office. Some people will be uh, riding the bicycle. Some people will be chit-chatting. So all those noise you don't want when you are giving the interview. So you can close the window and inform your people at home to have minimum movement when you are giving the interview. You have to tell them in advance that you are going to face an interview on this particular date and this particular time so that they also can plan their day. Now you have tested the technology and found a good place to sit and give the interview. Please don't choose garden in 
for giving the interview. The third point is choose a proper attire. If the background, the curtain or the wall is dark, then wear a light color formal. And if the background, the wall or the curtain is light, then wear a darker formal. But yes, formals only. If the weather is hot, keep a napkin with you. Right now the weather is hot, so I am keeping a napkin with me. And a bottle filled with water. This is just in case, a bottle filled with water. If you need it. And if you need it, you are not going to get up in between the interview. This shows, if you get up in between the interview, this shows that you are not prepared for the interview. You might be sitting on a bed, say for example, if you are sitting on a bed, however it should not look like that you have just got up from the bed. It's okay to sit on a bed because that is maybe that is where you find a blank wall or a proper lighting. Dress as you would do for an in-person interview. Professional dress will show that you are serious about the position either you have applied for or you are called for. And research also states that you sound confident when you are wearing a professional attire. The fourth step that we are going to cover today is sit prepared. You did those first three steps, now sit prepared. And you may give your interview either on PC or on laptop or on mobile, whichever is in best condition and you are comfortable with, right? You have already selected your technology. You will have internet too. Yes, because without that you will not be able to connect with whichever technology they are going to ask you. But this does not mean that in the middle of the interview you can search for answers on the net. Please don't do this mistake. There are some who think that yes, it's online, so we will have our PC next to us and then we'll search for the answers. Please don't do that. You can keep some sticky notes on PC or laptop. Yes, you can do that. With some important points that you don't want to miss. That is okay because you have come prepared and you can keep some notes also handy there is no not pages and pages and pages some small notes that you can keep in uh, keep it handy yes remember to take out print out of your resume and keep it with you so that you don't forget the key talking points i would suggest you to prepare answers to some common questions too. Uh, some of you might be having the question that when you print the resume, should it be in A4 size? Yeah, that should be in A4 size because that is resume. Handouts, notes, sticky notes in small size. The questions that you would, I would request you to prepare before the interview is, whether it is face to face or virtual interview. Tell me something about yourself. That's a common question that everyone asks. So be prepared for that. Why are you interested in this position? Whichever position you have applied for or you are called for interview. If it is campus interview, then whichever the position is. Why are you interested in this position? Don't make them feel that you have just got up from the bed. Oh today's interview let me walk in and see what is happening that is not going to give a good reputation about you and the college that you are representing what do you know about our company whichever company is coming for an interview you should do some research on their website what what are they what are they what do they make if they are a production? What do they do? What are their achievements? Something you should know about them. Then tell me something about your 
project work. You have done your project in whichever semester you have done it. So you should know what you have done for your project. The last question they usually ask is, do you have any questions for me? And the best answer that everyone gives is no. And I would say no is not an answer. Do some research, have one or two questions so that they feel, oh, this person has paid attention or listened to whatever we were discussing or they are interested in our company, right? Practice or rehearse. Please do not memorize these questions and the answers. Practice, it's said that practice makes man perfect. So practice and rehearse. Be natural and sound natural. Do you want to sound robotic? I'm sure you don't want to sound robotic, right? So be natural. Natural as you. If you are not genuine, they'll come to know. There is one thing that you can do. And that one thing is, you can give fake few questions to your family members or friends. Tell them to ask you these questions. Whichever question that you give them, ask them to ask those questions to you. If you were, if I were to do that, yes, I would feel awkward because family member is family member and friend is friend. But remove that awkwardness for some time for your own success, for, for your own benefit. Because in this way, you can have few practice rounds and you will get chance to interact professionally with different personality. Yes, you may find it little awkward to answer those questions to family members or friends. However, think it this way that you are getting a comfortable atmosphere and you can make mistake in front of them and correct the mistake and prepare for the real interview. Now moving on to body posture. While seated, have correct body posture. If it was a face-to-face -face interview, you would, have, you would have gone inside, greeted the um, interviewer, maybe some people shake hands. But yes, now in pandemic situation, it is only a namaste to show your enthusiasm. But how will you show the same when you are giving video interview or virtual interview. On a video call, you can show that by your posture. Have a smile on your face, sit up straight. As much as possible, keep the camera lens at eye level. So they feel that you are talking to them. And I've also done some research. That research also tells that employers remember those who have eye contact during the interview. We tend to look at the interviewer's face, but remember, when you look at interviewer's face, it is not you're looking at them, but you're looking sideways. So have eye contact in the lens, focus on the lens. Lastly, be yourself, be natural. Don't make the interviewer's job hard by remaining expressionless. Some people are like, they are with poker food face no be expressive when you are answering the question let them know that you are interested in answering the question you know the answer or you don't know the answer whatever have some expression on your face because that's the only thing that an interviewer sees interviewer wants to check whether you are right candidate for the company's culture let them feel that you are worth for the next interview too. Ultimately, your preparation and practice is the key. By checking your technology is working in, condition, in working condition with proper well-lit room, with blank or plain wall, wearing proper attire, keeping some notes and resume handy, keep some common questions, answers rehearsed, sitting with correct posture, and with natural smile, you will stand out from other participants. I hope these tips would help you to succeed in your virtual interview. If you practice on this, as I said, 
you will stand out from other participants i wish everyone good luck and prepare be honest stay safe thank you